Hey guys, we have some really brilliant speakers among, here, among us here today to talk about Power of One, how a simple idea changed their lives and lives of people around them. Well, my story isn't exactly the same. I'm here to talk about drone technology. When I say drones, what is the first thing that would come to your mind? Anybody? Videos? Defense? Three idiots? <laughs> right. So why should we care about drone technology at all? So let me put up some stats for you, for you to ponder over. So nearly 30% of world's crop produced is damaged because of weed and nobody controlling them. About 21% of all infrastructure projects are delayed because delays that happen during surveying the land. And there are thousands of projects that require men to go into risky surroundings to go and just inspect them. We thought and we realized that drones could be an answer for this. And what if I tell you that it can potentially bring out a technology revolution and change and solve all these problems. I started building drones when I was 18, when I entered my engineering college. It was not exactly rocket science, but it was nevertheless challenging and exciting. We were pretty good at what we did, and in 2013, we won NASA's award for best drone design. And in 2014, we set up our own company called Skylark Drones. And, and soon, we started making a lot of money. Well, not really. It was a very challenging phase for us. Our parents thought we had gone crazy. We didn't have an office space. We were working out of a garage, which soon got flooded. So we were moved out to a coffee shop. Right? We were literally driven to the graveyard because we didn't have any other place to fly. And, and then slowly, we started thinking what we were doing wrong. And, and then we realized that we had the answers within us. We were not asking the right questions. Drone technology isn't something new. It has been around for 50 years. But it is the applications of drones that mattered. It's not drone, it's about what the drones do. Right? Man's fascination for something that flies is, isn't something new. It's been there from ages, right from Pushpak Viman, just used by Ravan to kidnap Sita, and, and to a more recent time where Wright brothers invented the first manned aircraft. But it wasn't until quite a lot of years later that, that we actually saw commercial manned aircrafts, right? And that's something similar that's happening with drones also. Right. So earlier when I had asked you guys today, you know, what, when I talk about drones, what comes to your mind? You are told, you no know, videography, defense. But there is this huge gap in between videography and defense that opens up a lot of applications that has huge implications on today's businesses. We are a bunch of people who believe drones can do anything. And, and we are here and we are building our systems around it. Not to provide drones, but to provide solutions using drones. So let's take a look at what drones typically look like. So drones come in different shapes and sizes, right from a shape of a pencil to the shape of a, of a bench. Right? The drone that won the NASA award for us weighed just 120 grams, and it could carry a weight of 400 grams. Drones are solving problems that people could only dream about just a few years back. So let's take a look at the kind of applications that drones have. Start.
improve efficiency and, and productivity of enterprises simply by the virtue of time that they save. They enable data-driven decisions by providing authentic intelligence at a turnkey level for enterprises to decide on anything, right? And, and not to mention the reach they provide to areas that were not accessible earlier manually. So let's take a look at surveying, which is one of the major problems that we're trying to solve. Suppose a solar company wants to install solar panels onto a rooftop of, say, a factory or a warehouse. How do you think measurements are done of the rooftop? This, right? That's how it's done right now. And, and, and imagine what drones can do, and let's take a look at how a typical drone survey looks like. Earlier today, I told you that 21% of all infrastructure projects are delayed due to just delay in service. Imagine what implications drones have for all of these applications. So you might think that physical survey actually would bring in more data because the person actually goes to the field and, and collects data. But drones capture and provide much more than that by, by providing insights on top of it. So this is how a typical drone map looks like. And, and a drone that we have can capture up to 500 acres of survey data in just one hour. You can measure areas. You can measure volumes. As a mining company, you can not only monitor, monitor your mines, but you can measure the volumes and know how many truckloads are required for you to move the material. We're not, I'm not trying to say that drones are going to replace manual survey or satellite survey, but it's going to take the best of both and to complement all, all kinds of survey and data and add value to existing applications and open up newer applications. So the question really isn't why drones. It is more like why not drones. Drones in this enterprise space is where exactly drones in the videography were two years back. People knew it, people talked about it, but nobody was exactly using it for their advantage. Right, and, and, and that's what we feel is going to happen with the enterprise data domain also. Globally, people are using drones a lot for non-military use cases, for science, civil, and other commerce applications. A lot of people are talking about drones, which is a really good thing for a company like us. Once in a while, we do get wacky requests, you know what drones can do. There was this request once where uh, a person wanted us to shoo away pigeons because pigeons would go into a batch of uh, in blast furnace and spoil his batch of steel. So, so we didn't really take up that request, but the point is that people are actually talking about drones, and it's just a matter of time that it's going to fit in and, and disrupt the way data is delivered to enterprises. Lastly, I would like to conclude by saying that India, being a country where more than half, almost half the population are engineers and a lot of ideas being generated every day, maybe we should just pause sometimes and realize that maybe we have the answer within us, but are we asking the right questions? Thank you.